Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Emily and this is Ready Steady Sew. So today's video is a bit of a fabric and pattern haul, which is very exciting. It's been a long time since I've bought some fabric and patterns and done a haul video of any sort, which is, so I'm really excited to do this. I know that they're very popular. I love to watch pattern and fabric haul videos and I'm sure you guys love to watch them too. So before I begin, I just want to say a huge thank you to the people who have donated money on my Kofi account. I've had quite a few people just send me little bits of money and it is so, so appreciated. Um, I'm hoping to save up to buy a proper vlogging camera. At the moment I vlog on my phone and use basic editing software because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just <laughs> flying by the seat of my pants. And I'm hoping to get a proper vlogging camera and... Um, and you know learn how to edit videos properly so yeah any donations that i get will go towards that and also just general running of this channel because you know sewing costs money <laughs> it's not cheap and when you're on return to leave it's not cheap but now that's what i'm saving my money for so thank you very much if you have donated if you'd like to there is a link to my kofi account below but there's absolutely no pressure to donate whatsoever so I've done, I've got a fabric haul for you. It's not a huge haul. It's only like a, a mini haul, I would say. There's four pieces of fabric and I think I've got four patterns. I've got my notebook here with everything written down so I don't forget. Four patterns, four pieces of fabric and um, just a couple of bits. So I'll start with my bits. Now, I don't know about you, but I quite enjoy cross stitch. I only started it when I was pregnant, so just over a year ago. And I started it because someone got me a cross stitch kit as part of like a secret Santa or Christmas present. And I'd never done it. And then when I was suffering from morning sickness, lying in bed, like feeling really sorry for myself over the Christmas holidays from school, I, st I just thought, oh, I'll do that while I'm lying in bed watching telly. I'll start doing that. And I really enjoyed it because it took my mind off feeling sick. So it distracted me from morning sickness. So I completed that one. I bought another kit and then I've not done much else with it since. But I do like cross stitch and I'm trying to get back into it. And with everything that's going on in the world, I really want to support Ukraine. I want to do what I can to help. So I have bought some patterns from Ukrainian suppliers on Etsy. So they're digital downloads, so obviously they don't have to post anything out to you. So obviously it's not, you know, that's nothing they have to do. Who knows what's happening to them right now. But I've bought three patterns and I've got several more in my basket on Etsy that I want to buy. So I've bought those and they are super cheap. Like one of them was one pound something. Um, I think I think the most expensive one was about three or four pounds. So I've bought three cross stitch patterns, which I will put here for you to see what they look like. And I'm really excited to get making them. And then I've also bought the supplies to make one of them at the moment. I'm just starting with one. I'm not getting over my head. So I've ordered it from a shop called Stitchaholic. Now I've put on my Instagram a shout out for where to get in, um, cross stitch supplies from. Because I've always ever bought kits. I've never had to buy all the supplies separately. And I got quite a few responses. So thank you very much if you did respond to that. And uh, really useful. I did check out all the different uh, shops that recommended and there's some really good ones and I've seen a couple of other cross stitch I like to do at some point but the one I went for was Stitchaholic and the stuff came and it's so beautifully packaged that's the is it Aida Aida <laughs> the fabric that you do cross stitch on and look it's come a little packet a little bow lovely washi tape and then all the threads and needles I ordered came in this little bag there you go there's one I think there's about eight or ten different threads in here. Ooh, take those out. There's a pink colour, um, a darker red colour. There you go. And then also a lovely little bag of Haribo, which surprisingly I've managed to uh, not eat yet. So that's very uh, a very nice touch. So yeah, so this is ordered from Stitchaholics. I've never heard of them before, but I will be using them and again. And they are one of the cheapest places I found to buy the thread from, the DMC threads. So thank you very much to the person who suggested those to me. And thank you very much for your, all your suggestions. Before I go any further, I forgot to tell you what I'm wearing. This is the Friday Pattern Company Patina Blouse, which I made in February. Um, I've made it in a cotton from Semi Sunshine. I'll have a look if Harriet's got any left. I don't know if she has or not, but if she has, I will link to this fabric down below. But I'll show you a bit better. I will put a picture of me wearing it here. But it's got the lovely collar. Um, yeah, it's got slightly gathered sleeves. I think I would lengthen it next time I make it, just add an inch or two to the length. But I really like it. 
um, it's really comfortable to wear really easy to sew yeah really nice top as i say i'll put a picture of it here um, the petite blouse by friday pattern company has got a really inclusive size range it goes from extra small to 7x i've not got it in front of me to tell you um what those in, what those sizes are in inches but i know it usually goes up to about 60 inch bust somewhere around there so yeah that's what i'm wearing and again i'll put a pattern there for you to see okay so i will talk about the patterns that i've bought next now before i get into this i know i said at the beginning of the year i haven't got any money and that is true i haven't got any money i've managed to buy all these patterns and fabrics through a mixture of means so the first one is i had vouchers for semi sunshine that i got for my birthday and i've used those to buy the majority of the fabrics i think i had to put about five pounds of my own money to it which was fine and then also i've been selling fabrics and patterns on my d stash account and i've been selling clothes on vinted as well so basically i've used the money that i've made from selling things to buy the rest of the things so there's one fabric that i bought from another shop and then the patterns as well are basically using money i've made from selling things online so that's how i've afforded these they haven't come out of my money in my bank already because that's for my bills they are money that i've made selling stuff so i will start with the patterns now one of them is a free pattern as i'm sure if you watch the so frugal videos you will know that size me patterns has very kindly offered their florence t-shirt up for free if you put in the i think it's the code frugal t at the checkout so i've downloaded that it looks a really nice boxy t-shirt uh, quite oversized i haven't written down the measurements i do apologize but um i will put a picture of the pattern in here and i will write information about it down below so at some point i'm hoping to make that t-shirt it probably won't be this month but i'm hoping to make that soon so that's a florence t by size me the next pattern i bought was i bought it because there's a discount on it and also the proceeds were going to help ukraine so tilling the buttons had a sale on i think it was because they weren't going to the stitch festival so they had a sale on for that time and they said a percentage of their pro profits were going to go to the red cross or to a charity to support ukraine so i've wanted this part for a little while i've been looking at it looking at the different versions being made and it looks absolutely beautiful so i'm excited to make it and it is the lyra dress obviously battling the buttons i like all different versions i like the long sleeve versions i like the short sleeve version i like the one tier two tier so i think there's um, a bit of scope to make different variations so you can make several dresses from one pattern i've seen i've seen some beautiful versions and i have got quite a few different fabrics i've got lots of viscoses in my stash which you may have seen if you watch my um, fabric stash videos i will link to them either up here somewhere or down below somewhere if you haven't seen them go and look at them because i have got lots of fabric um yeah so i'm hoping at some point to make the lyra dress by tilling the buttons it she's expanded her size range so it comes in sizes 6 to 34 i bought the pdf so i think do you get all the size on the pdf or is it two separate i can't remember i know if you buy the paper pattern it comes in two size bands i think it's 6 to 20 or 24 and then like 18 to 34 or something two different size bands but i bought the pdf pattern and you may possibly get all of them i'm not sure on that one but yeah that's the lyra dress battling the buttons and as i say i bought it because it was a discount and all and proceeds went to ukraine as well the next one i bought was the heather blazer from friday pattern company if you watch my march plans you'll know that i'm hoping to make the heather blazer for so we create the look challenge on instagram i'm making it in a houndstooth um suiting fabric so yeah i'm hoping to make that i don't know how much i'll get done in march but i am hoping to make a start on it in march at least heather friday pattern company has a really inclusive size range it goes from extra small up to a 7x and that is something up to a 60 inch bust i think so it's again a really big size range and then the last pattern i bought again i bought it because there's a discount on it it's with by tammy handmade and it's the hera trousers again i'll put a picture in of them here so you know what i'm talking about i saw this pattern when she released the etty camisole which i'm hoping to make for so frugal when she released that she also released the hera trousers and they're just a plain elasticated waist trousers i think they're designed for lounge wear or or for um like pajamas but i'm hoping to make them in a fabric that i'll show you in a minute that i bought 
and just use them as everyday trousers either for work or for at home i'm all for comfort i'm all for elasticated waist these days simple trousers you know that i can just feel comfortable in smart enough for me to wear to work when i go back to work in the summer so yeah i bought the hero trousers they come in a size 6 to 24 so not a massive size range but fairly inclusive and i bought them because there was a discount i think it was international women's day um it was a few days ago for when i filmed in this video and i think it was was it 40 percent off quite a big discount and the pattern was only eight pounds to start with but with the discount it cost me less than five pounds so i thought why not i've been looking at lots of different patterns for similar i considered the is it the tula trousers from paper cut patterns i'd considered the petra pants by closet core um the pomona pants by anna allen and i like you know i like all these patterns they all look lovely but they're all like nearly 20 pounds and i thought these look really nice and i can just make them using the same and the fraction of the cost and so i bought them <laughs> for you know for, for four pounds whatever it was five pounds i bought the pattern so i'm hoping to make those maybe in april maybe may in the summer but yeah those are the four patterns the florence tee the lyra dress the heather blazer and the hero trousers okay so now let's get on to the best part the fabric i know that's what you all really really want to see so the first fabric was the one that i bought using my own money that i've used from uh, selling things and it's a fabric that i just could not resist there's only been two fabrics i've seen one i've delayed buying it and it sold out which was good and then this one which i just couldn't resist that i really really struggled to not buy and they're both leopard print obviously but this one you've probably seen it quite a few different shops have had it i got it from good fabrics and it is the absolutely beautiful mind the maker urban leo um twill i think it's a viscose twill in the cobalt blue i could not say no it's not cheap mind the maker is not cheap so i, I you know it did take a lot of can i can i really afford this can i justify it and I, I just couldn't i couldn't say now it's just it's very me it's beautiful it's cobalt blue which is one of my favorite colors and it's leopard print which is also a neutral it's you know something i wear all the time so yeah i've got two meters of it i'm not entirely sure what to make i'm thinking i may make a shirt like the gilbert shirt or a blouse could possibly make a patina blouse in it that's an option with only having two meters i don't think i'll be able to get a dress out of it i think it will end up being a top and that's fine but i'm thinking a shirt maybe the patina blouse maybe the gilbert shirt by helen's closet i'm not sure but let me know if you've got any ideas what i should make with this but i love it and i don't want to waste it i don't want to yeah i want it to be something special something that i will get a lot of wear out of because it's you know not a cheap fabric but it's beautiful and i love it so much oh, everyone straight the fabric <laughs> the next three fabrics are ones i bought with my vouchers for my birthday from Say Me sunshine um if you watch my fabric stash videos you will know that i have a lot of pattern fabrics whether it's leopard print or floral they're the main it's looking here because they're all still spread out everywhere but they're the main patterns i have so i don't have a lot of plain fabric so i make items but then i've got nothing for it to go with in my handmade wardrobe like i make a nice top but again i've got no trousers or no i don't make a lot of skirts but no skirts to go with so i'm trying to rectify that so i've bought three plain fabrics we'll see how well i do with these um my plan was to make mainly trousers i've said to myself i'm going to use those vouchers to buy some plain fabric near the summer to make trousers with and then it got to what are we in march and i couldn't there been a hole in my pocket i couldn't not spend them so the first fabric isn't for trousers i bought it because it was relatively cheap and i've liked it for quite a while and i think i can make quite a nice top from it i bought some of their navy sand wash satin let me open it out a bit it's lovely and soft it'll be really nice against your skin as you can see on the right side it's got a bit of a kind of texture and then the wrong side is more kind of matte and plain it's absolutely beautiful it feel, uh, feels like silk <laughs> yeah it's really really nice um i say it's really cheap it's only a six pounds a meter i think and they had it in quite a few colors and i ha they have had it a while um so i decided to buy some to make up the money on my order a little bit um so my plan for this i've got two meters and i'm thinking it's either going to be a lining maybe for my heather blazer or because i think it's a bit too nice to use as a lining fabric although it would be lovely as a lining fabric or make something like the Ogden cami or the Etty cami or the Silvery silk cami top. 
using this navy fabric. Look at that and all the light shining on it. Oh, it's beautiful. Lovely drapes, nice and shiny, it's nice and soft. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on making. Either a, a cami top of some sort, simple summer cami top that I can wear with any thin jeans or trousers, whatever, or possibly the lining of something, but I think it's a bit nice for a lining fabric. The next fabric I bought, I bought it because again, it was relatively cheap and I wanted to make, again, I want to make some kind of comfy, elasticated waist slouch trousers. I'm not sure, I mean, I think I can get trousers out of it, but I wasn't sure if it's going to be a little bit too lightweight, but I bought two and a half meters of this khaki viscose twill. It's really nice. It's nice and soft. It's, you know, it's like a viscose, but a bit heavier with a twill weave running through it. Hold it up to the camera so you can see it a bit better if you can see the tour weave there but yeah so that's what i've got two and a half meters and i thought i could make again something like the hero trousers with it or another pair of, i've got the miller trousers by paper theory in my pattern stash so i could make another pair of those i think it would work i think you could make trousers from it, it is completely opaque hang on let me just double check that <laughs> it's relatively opaque you can see a bit of light through it but it's not um see through see through so i could make trousers with it or the alternative was i could make maybe the lyra dress with it i could maybe squeeze a lyra dress out of it if i decide it's too lightweight for trousers but initially i did think trousers possibly a dress but again i've got a neutral color a plain color because i do like khaki black and navy are like my go or gray black navy and gray are my go-to kind of plain colors but i do actually like a bit of khaki and it's adding just a little bit more color in my wardrobe without it being too bright but yeah so i've got two and a half meters of that to use up and then the final fabric is for trousers and i've just got some plain black linen i thought with summer coming up it would make a lovely pair of trousers it is obviously linen so it's not got a lot of drape to it again i was thinking of making the hero trousers with it or some sort of trousers i could possibly try and get a jumpsuit maybe the zany jumpsuit which i've not made yet out of it but I thought trousers are what I had in mind. I thought black linen trousers with elasticated waist, wide leg, comfy. They will go with lots of things in my wardrobe. Like I could wear this top with it. If I made a shirt out of this, that would go with it. And plus this shirt I'm wearing will go with them. So yeah, black linen trousers, you, you can't really go wrong. It's not a very exciting purchase, I wouldn't say but it's something that will be a staple in my wardrobe and will hopefully get a lot of wear. So that is my fabric and pattern haul. So let me know what you thought of what I've bought. Have you got any suggestions for the fabric I've got? Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a like or a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.